What is going on guys, we are here with Gets Money vs ABR for World Cup Tiebreaker Germany vs US East and this is Auras Oyo, this is the first game of the Tiebreaker series And get this Money brought Mega Metagross and I'm just trying to see if that's AV or Life Orb Tornadus I'm thinking it's AV because he doesn't have the best Kelly switch-ins so he does lead off with extra little as ABR brought a Mega God of War squad. Pretty sure that's Mega God of War. Um, let me see ABR's team. It's either Scarf Lando or Scarf Ladi. So I get this money has three potential rockers, but usually, obviously, Metagross doesn't run rocks. I'm thinking it's this could be Scarf Drill or his other potential Scarfer is the uh, Keldeo. But I'm thinking get this money will be um, Stealth Rocks Uncle Fable and Scarf on this Drill if I'm being honest. So ABR is probably gonna go into uh, Slowbro here. As he oh my God he's protect I was about to say did ABR make a wild prediction turn one I was like what. <laughs> Is this like will always protect to scout? Uh, protect could be to scout for like Bandit Tita if it goes for Pursuit or Crunch to avoid the 50-50. Uh, he does get the confusion and they hit himself to one. That sucks. I mean, we take those. I'm rooting for Team Germany. Someone said earlier that ABR is gonna hex, but you know. Did he U-turn here? Knock off the Heatrans lefties. So I assume this is gonna be like uh, Rock's turn with Lava Plume, Toxic Taunt maybe. There's the rocks. There are the rocks. I assume he's just gonna scald fish for a burn here. And no burn. Is this calm mind or is this T wave slow, bro? Like, uh, slag off scald. Side shock is pretty obvious. It's just about the last move. T wave or calm mind. I mean, some also run Ice Beam or Fire Blast, but I don't really think that ABR is gonna run that. So GTM brought in his cluff. I think he's just gonna get up his rocks here. Losing the lefties on Heatron is nice uh, for get this money. Like it's it's obviously really annoying for ABR. Like getting rid of the lefties. Oh god, he doubled onto Metagross. What do you predict? So this might have been Specs Ladio, so that was really smart on get this money's part scouting for that. And he's pursued Metagross and he's gonna do a lot to this Ladio. He just gets hard rid of it. I thought this might be a roll or something. Oh my lord, it's looking really nice. Let me count that though if there was a roll. I thought I would only do like 90 to the so is he gonna? T okay, he's gonna comment. Maybe he's gonna go for a game. So this is probably gonna be rocks, and we will see if the last move is knockoff or comment or T wave on the club. He just just rolled the rocks on the comment slow bro. Don't play around with this too much, my man. This is scary. So he's gonna knock off the uh, leftovers from the slow bro, but he's gonna die to a side shock. Damn, this is scary. You guys get this money playing around with this. There goes his tornadoes. Um, he's probably toxic on this drill. I'm pretty sure he's toxic on this drill. ABI does not have healing wish unless he's healing wish. Does God get healing wish? It could be. So he does sack his extra little poison the slow bro. I really hope for. Um, is this God will potentially healing wish? I'll learn. Volt switch is gone. Oh my lord, he gets a crit. That sucks so much. Okay, this game is over. I mean, we take those. <laughs> Dude, the, the hurricane confusion early on the Garvor, now the crit. The Volt Switch probably would have done like maybe 30%, maybe even less. Rotom to a slow bro. Uh, plus 3 speed death. Volt Switch would have done 18 to 22. And he could have potentially gotten another kill with the slow bro. So ABR goes into this. I assume this is. Uh, Scarflando? I mean, he just doesn't have answers for the Keldeo at this point. Keldeo's gonna get a kill here with Scald. He's gonna suck off his Heatran. This is probably just Specs Keldeo. We can tell from the damage on the slow bro. I didn't calculate, but I think there was Specs damage. 
I just wanted to calc if that was a roll. That play only was brilliant though by get this money where he got the Metagross in versus the Lari. On the Psychic. AB I probably just predicted get this money to go for rocks and even hard Metagross. That was a brilliant scout. So what? Is he just... Oh he's just trying to get chip damage with sand. Maybe he brings it in range from Earthquake. How much does Landros Earthquake do to kill? Like Scald? Like Scald probably doesn't kill this I guess. Let me calc. Man, there's so many things I want to calc, but I can't catch up. Kelly versus Tyranitar. If it's Choice Bandit, yeah, Scald is a roll to kill. 76 to 90. I mean, he also has a Rotom in the back, so Landris is not going to be the problem, even if this gets in range from Landris. And God was kept in check by the Metagross. So it's Pursuit, probably Mash, Ice Punch, I don't know the last move. That's 81. Yeah, ABI got like a lower roll and get this. They both got like ro lower rolls. So this gets to it, Gerd. I'm pretty sure this game is over and get this money's favor. The thing is, I mean, Germany really needed had to win this game because... Uh, so he's gonna probably go for an, maybe knockoff here, predicting the Rotom to get rid of the lefties, or just go for U-turn to get the guard one. But I don't think AM. Yeah, okay, doesn't matter. I guess get this money. He cannot lose at this point. He was willing to sack his Kelt in case ABR went for aggressive play. I thought that um, ABR had to bank on him switching, but maybe that's just me being being wrong here. Um, I'm pretty much there was no way for get this money to lose at this point. He can just spam Volt Switch because. ABR is locked into Earthquake and when the Sandstorm ends, Rotom will get left or his recovery back if the Landris stays in, so get this money doesn't lose anything by doing this. Yeah, there's gonna be a GC game I think which is gonna be played later between Beth and BKC. I'm probably not gonna record that because I have no idea about that. Um, yeah, if ABR stays in, Rotom is gonna go back to full. And the Gardevoir might even be in range from Pursuit after Rocks or in range from Ice Punch. Like, he doesn't have to risk medium measures, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, the Hex obviously sucked with Slowbro, that could have gotten another kill. Um, yeah, that Toxic was really important. If he didn't have that Toxic, he would have just gotten swept. If he missed the Toxic on Slowbro, this game would have been over for ABR, probably. And if this, if he didn't get the crit with the Rotom after. So he did <laughs> He keeps Vault Switching to get his Rotom to fall. I mean, this is obviously a bit sad, but... <laughs> Like I said, we take those. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, dude. Like, I mean, I'm not playing versus ABR, but like, I know ABR might watch this. I shouldn't have laughed, but like, before this game, I was like, if we can't, if Germany cannot play that hex, I mean, get this money played this well where he got the Metagross and on the Lari early and pursued it, but like, ABR doesn't deserve this. Yeah, Earthquake has less PP than uh, Volt Switch. So he's just gonna keep spamming Volt Switch. The Landers is gonna struggle eventually and kill itself. I'm not sure if there's a point in doing this. Can't he just click Hydro Pump? Like, just click Hydro Pump already, dude. There's no point in doing this, right? Because Struggle probably does. Doesn't Struggle do a bit more damage anyway? Like, than Left Evers here? Okay, it does 15. Yeah, confusion and crit. I just don't understand why he didn't click Hydro Pump because ABD has shown that he's staying in. Because like now his Rotom took more damage anyway. Not that it matters. Metagross has this game wrapped up. But yeah, the second game, like I said, it's gonna be. Oh, he just went hard Metagross because he knew this was locked into struggle, and Metagross is gonna pick off the guard or. Yeah, the, the last game, if um, if BKC wins for US East. There's gonna be a third game, which is probably no, not probably. It's John, aka Brofist versus Mazar. Um, and yeah, John is like on fire, and he's like so good in Sun and Monoyo. I really <laughs> hope that Germany can lock it up before, cause I don't. Man, I want Germany to move on to the next round, and if it comes down to Brofist versus Mazar, it's gonna be so scary. But I, th I think Mazar can beat him. Like honestly, I think he planned out probably something pretty fire. Yeah, this is kind of tough to say. It depends. What would get his, get his money have brought out into after he volt switch with the Rotom? 
He probably would have gone to Clef. I think Clefabian would have been able to live a hit. And then he would have just Moonblasted or the, the Softball, depending on if he could take another hit after. I think Edith Money could have won without the crit, but it definitely sucked. And the, com the, co the combination of the confusion and the crit put him in an easy favorable position, so it's hard to say. But yes, there any other games going on? I don't think so. Um, the next round, which is semi-finals, is gonna come out later, like not later, after the tiebreaker is over. And uh, the last game, like I said, if BKC wins, there's gonna be third game. I really hope Germany can rip it out in two. But if the third game is gonna happen, I'm not sure if it's today or tomorrow. They might have to play tomorrow. I think there were some scheduling issues because of the time zones. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, Bats is playing in 4 to 4.5 hours with BKC. And yeah, I'm happy that Germany's up 1 and 0, but it's not over yet. I just knew that I had to win this to have a chance, because it's, it's just super scary, man. Like, they were up 4 and 1 at one point in the regular series. And then um, East brought it back to 5 and 5. But thank you guys for watching. Um, get this money still made the fire play with the with the pursuit, brought it in on the Ladi. I'm pretty sure that was Spex Ladi. Spex Ladi, Scarf Lando, Band Star, so like. Nothing too crazy, like kind of standard sets, I guess. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned for more World Cup coverage.